All right, this is first grade, module one, lesson 24. And in this lesson, really, it's just a great excuse for students to be practicing their addition facts within 10. And really, we're developing fluency. Parents and teachers, tons of research out there that says time tests create math anxiety. It's questionable as to whether these time tests actually uh, improve fluency anyway. So. Uh, the idea of this lesson is to begin the process of having students, helping students have fun as they develop their fluency and their automaticity. We don't need them to go super fast, 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 fast. That's silly. We do want them to be fluent and we want them to be automatic, uh, but not speedsters. So let's get going. So here we have a bunch of cards. And they're all up here. And our task is to sort them into this table. All right. And uh, some of these cards could go in multiple columns. Uh, and that's okay. And just let students explore and experiment and explain maybe um, why they decided to put a particular uh, number sentence in that column. So I'm just going to model a couple of these. Oh, I would say that one goes right here. And then. 10 is equal to 1 plus something. Well, I think I would call that this one right here. And then 5 plus 4. Well, I'd say that's a double plus 1. So I'm going to put that here. And then 3 plus 4 is a double plus 1. And then 8 plus 2 seems like it should go way over here. 4 plus 1, well, that feels like a double. So I'm going to put that right here. 2 plus 2, that's another double. 7 plus 1, well, I'd probably put that here. 3 plus 3. So, of course, re remember, you know, students could put this in any um, box as long as it seems to make sense. Oh, for example, look at that, 2 plus 2. That could have gone over here in the plus 2 section, but I'm going to put it back over here. So 2 plus 3, that's another one. It could have gone here, as in plus 2. Or I'm going to put it here as a near double. You know what? I'm just for the heck of it. I'm going to put it way over here because I want to. Here, here's a 6 plus 2. And here's a 5 plus 1. And that's kind of how I, I'm going to put it there. Although, I think I could have put this guy over here as a near double. And let's just move on. So here's the point of this lesson. The whole point is for students to have fun as they're developing their fluency. The idea is time test and an emphasis on speed and racing against each other, uh, probably not particularly productive. So what can you do? Well, you could do some fluency games, all right? Um, <clears throat> I've created this bit.ly, it's B-I-T dot L-Y slash, and then fluency games, but that F and that G is capitalized, so you have to, you have to capitalize it, it's case sensitive. But when you go there, Click on first grade's um, list of games, man. This is uh, created by, I think, either North Carolina or South Carolina. I can't remember. One of those Carolinas. But they created uh, a ton of games. And this lesson happens to be studying um, standard 1.OA.3 and 1.OA.6. So go to the above thing up here, that link right up there, and uh, open up, download the games. Find games that are practicing OA3 and OA6, and let your students have fun as they're developing fluency. They will naturally be, uh, come, become automatic with their uh, facts within 10. And that wraps up first grade, module one, lesson 25, just practicing, building our fluency with facts to 10.